Hello my dear followers. Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be informed about new videos. In the morning, Dylan comes to Baron and gives him a kiss. Baron says that he will not go to court and that he has something more important to do and that he plans to go out together. Dylan cannot understand Baron's request and when she asks why, Baron says, let's not get nervous unnecessarily, let's get away for a while. Severi goes out for a picnic with Uncle Keenan and Severi is still very angry with him. When Mr. Kudret comes to Baron and asks him what he will do if Hassan is released, Baron says don't worry, father, he can't escape. When Mr. Kudret asks how my son and how can you stay calm like this, Baron says, because we have a plan and explains the plan he made with Fireit. Mr. Kudret says, you thought well, now I feel relieved. Baron says we will go out with Dylan now, so that Dylan won't understand anything and we won't arouse Sevahir's suspicion. Fireit says, relax, brother, we are in control. Hassan talks to the lawyer and asks if they will release me today. The lawyer says they probably will. Hassan says if I spit up, it's a mustache, if I spit down, it's a beard. When Baron says he won't let me live when they let me out, the lawyer says don't worry, Mr. Sevahir has arranged everything, no one can do anything, the men will take you to a safe place as soon as the hearing is over, Hassan says tell me from the beginning, I'm relieved now. While Sevri and Yasmin are talking about why they quarreled with Harun, Harun asks Sevdet if things got better between you and Sevri. Mr. Keenan and his wife watch them from afar and talk about whether this picnic will be useful or whether they will make peace. Dylan and Baron get ready to go out and when they get close, Baron says, when we first met, you created a storm in my heart, it still continues like that. When Dylan said, you were like a hero on the horse, my heart was about to stop. You are my hero, Baron. Baron said, you are the love of my life too, and they held his hand and left the room. As Baron and Dylan leave the mansion, they find Akif in front of them. Akif is surprised when he learns that they are going for a walk and asks, I have known you for many years, you are not up to something, are you? Baron says I'm not calling, come on, see you, and gets in his car and leaves. Since Baron still hasn't told Dylan where he took him, Dylan gets curious and makes guesses. When Baron keeps saying we are here, Dylan asks where is this place and why did we come here? Meanwhile, Baron receives a message from Fireit, saying that the trial has started. When Dylan asks if there is something wrong or are you hiding something from me, Baron says we came here to distract ourselves, you still don't know why we came. They get out of the car and Baron explains that he bought this land for Miran and will make it a memorial forest. Dylan loves this idea and says he will plant a tree here on every special day. Baron says it would be great, let's get started and says, the three of us will start planting three saplings right away from the car. Baron bought a plain tree for Miran and a beech tree for Dylan so that he would be strong and strong like him. While its roots are tied tightly to the depths, its branches swing freely to the sky and give life, just like you came to the mansion and healed everyone. He bought a fir tree sapling within himself. Dylan says, I know this tree, I would say that no one could do anything to me while sitting in its shadow, and I would feel safe. When Baron says you will always be safe from now on, Dylan says, I have no doubt, you are here, I have my hero with me, let's plant them and let them grow as soon as possible. When Baron calls out to Dylan and says, whatever I do, I do it for you and our son, never forget that, okay? Dylan says he will never forget. Azade Hanem and Ghul sit with Miran and talk about who he looks like. While Ms. Azade always compares her to herself, when Ghul says that she looks a bit like Ms. Sabiha, she says that if she looked like them, she would be ugly and weak. While Ghul is talking about how much she loves Miran, no matter who he looks like, she suddenly feels nauseous. When Ms. Azade insinuates that she is pregnant, Ghul says, no, I must go to the bathroom. I can't be a mother. I will always look at babies from a distance. Why is this the case? While Dylan is deciding where to plant the trees, Baron says let it be whatever you want. When Dylan says I can't wait for the trees to grow as soon as possible, Baron says that will happen too, and my son will grow as well. And while they were dreaming that they would come here in the future and have a picnic with their sons, when Baron said that our son would climb trees, 
Dylan immediately said no, 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 if my son falls, he will break something, I won't let him. When Baron says look how comfortable I am, Dylan says I'm a mother, I can't let anything happen to my baby. Then, when he asks if 10 days will come, Baron says time flies so fast, of course it will come. When Dylan says, it shouldn't go too fast, but we will live life to the fullest and enjoy the beauty of every moment together. When Baron asks if we agree, Dylan replies, we agree. When Baron says let's plant trees now, Dylan Baron says I love you very much. Baron responds by saying, I love you too. After planting the trees, they also give their life water. Baron hugs Dylan, sits her in the back of the car, and brings her coffee. When Dylan gets distracted again, Baron asks, what happened, what did the light of my eyes focus on? Dylan says, I remember that moment when I had to leave you and imagines that moment. When Dylan says that he didn't do everything that happened at that time because he really wanted to, Baron says, I know, tell me about this, we will forget our bad memories and always experience good things. When Dylan says let's always be happy, Baron, he says we will be Baron, my beauty, the trees here will witness us. Dylan gives him water to help him recover. Yasmin's mother advises Yasmin and Severi, girls, know that the balance in marriage belongs to the woman. If you do not establish the balance, there will be no marriage or happiness. He says this will soon become a huge forest and a team will come and take care of it tomorrow. Dylan says let's bring my son next time, it is very good for babies to meet nature early. Meanwhile, Fire it sends a message that Hassan will be tried without arrest, and Baron replies, okay, get ready, I'm coming. But when he realizes that something is wrong because of Dylan and asks, he explains that Baron Hassan has been released. When Dylan asks what we will do now with fear, Baron says don't worry he can't do anything anymore but Dylan says, but what if he runs away until we find evidence? When Baron says don't worry, he can't escape, Dylan asks how can you speak so confidently? They start to recover by saying Baron, don't worry, I'm in control. While Yasmin and Severi are having their meal pleasantly in front of their spouses, first, Harun receives a lone rejection message on his phone. Yasmin gets angry wondering if there was a need for this. When Sebdet's phone rings behind him, it is Pervin who answers and says that she made a pastry and brought it to the restaurant. Severi gets angry so that she doesn't miss anything. Uncle Keenan and his wife think about how these children will make peace. As soon as Baron and Dylan return to the mansion, they come to Miran and tell him that they miss him very much. Baron finds out that Fyret and his father are in the study and goes to them. Fyret, they will release Hassan soon. They all leave the room together, saying, if everything is ready, let's go. When Dylan and Ghoul ask where they are, Baron says we have work to do, while Fyret says we are collecting evidence to put our so-called uncle in prison, Ghoul is related to him. While the lawyer congratulates Hassan and gives him advice, Akif comes to him and says, don't get too comfortable, Hassan, this job is not over yet, and everything you have done is obvious, I will do whatever it takes to have you put in prison soon. As soon as Hassan comes out, he tells the lawyer that he is worried that Baron and his men are not around or they are planning something. The lawyer says that Sevahir Bey's men are waiting for us, let's go without delaying any longer. When Dylan puts Miran to sleep and comes to Ghoul, they talk about something strange about Fyret and Baron. Actually, there's something that's stuck in my mind, Ghoul, I don't know what it has to do with it, but when she said in one of her speeches that she was talking about a summer house or something, Dylan first remembered the moment when she found Baron and Fyret in the summer house, and then Baron remembered that Hassan would not be released, and I think I understood that Baron and Fyret had a conversation about the summer house. He says they made a plan. When Ghoul asks what kind of plan it is, Dylan says I don't know, but I will find out. Mr. Keenan comes this time by finding some help from others, just to reconcile Yasmin and Severi, Harun and Sevdet. While Hassan goes with the lawyer, Baron follows them with his brother and father. When the driver says we are being followed, Hassan looks back and says, this is Baron's car, hit the gas, don't stop. When Fyret says they noticed us, Baron starts driving faster. And finally, they pull their car in front of Hassan's car and block his way. Everyone gets out of the car, draws their guns and shouts, Baron Hassan Effendi, get out. 
Baron says we will take Hassan and leave, put down the weapons. When the men do not lower their weapons, Baron shouts, there is no way out for you from here. Give me Hassan, and I'll spare your lives. When the men drop their weapons, Hassan shouts that they are cowards. Firet grabs his neck and pulls him out of the car, and Mr. Kudret puts a bag over his head and throws him into the car. Baron says, tell your owner that this is not over yet, and gets into his car. You can share your valuable opinions in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.